you guys welcome to a new video in this video I'll show you how to extract locked ETS2 mods and we'll also work with ATS so let's say you have your own mod you try to extract it and it's locked not to worry if you follow this guide we can unlock that for you you may want to do this to make mods work on a later version of the game which does not allow at this current time so if you head into the extractor files which you can find in the description of this video and extract them to your desktop open up the folder and now you want the mod you want to extract so let us move this file over as you can see if I try to open this file it will not work so if you head into dot drag file into dot right click the file click archive process and settings click on extract and tick extract unresolved entries once this is done, click on start processing. Head back to the folder and as you can see a new folder has been generated. Head inside it. As you can see it is missing files here as there's obviously more to the mod than just these two files. Head into the unresolved folder and pick a few files to open. So I'm just going to highlight a few here. Just right click and edit with notepad. As you can see, I've gotten rather lucky, as in the first file here, I've got a file path. So what you would want to do is to search through each one of the files, like as you can see, this file here is not very useful. But with this file, I can see a file path which I can use within Dart. Right here, it has an improper naming convention that you generally not use with Eurotruck mods. So if you find one of these yourself, just right click, copy the value, Head back into Dart, right click the file again, click Archive Process and Sense. In this text box here, paste in the value. Hit Accept and start processing again. See, it still has completable warnings, but that's fine, it's nothing to worry about. So if we go back to the folder now, as you can see, it has extracted this folder this time, which contains all the files for the modded truck. Now to make this mod work on, for example, beta 142, we we'll head into the manifest file, let's edit with notepad. As you can see in this compatibility versions line, it is only compatible with 141. If you just change this value to 142, or whatever your game version is, and save the file. You no longer need this unresolved file, so you can delete that. And now you have all the files for the mod. So you can just highlight them all, right click, click on send to, and click compress zip folder. You can name the zip file whatever you want. So I'm just going to go over Instanux interior. And that's it, I have the mod and it will be working on 142. You just put it in your mod folder in your documents, just like any other mod you would install. If you have any issues, please join my Discord server and I'll try to help you out. Please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, it will greatly help me out. And with that being said, thanks for watching.